everyone, so I decided to do a series of empties videos and I decided to do it by categories. So the very first one will be the bath and body products because I think these are the things that most people use up really really quickly and accumulate uh, quite often. And the least item would be makeup for me because I keep on purchasing the new things and I never use up one particular product. And I absolutely love bath and body care products. So I'll just get right into it and this is something that I've been collecting for past 5 weeks. I think for 5 weeks I think I've done quite well. And I've got two shampoos here. And these are something that I keep on repurchasing all the time. And this one is a Body Shop Banana Shampoo and it just smells very much banana-y and it looks like a banana puree inside as well. And this is my all-time favorite from L'Occitane and this is for the sensitive scalp. Recently they increased the price by one pound. It used to be like 14 British pounds four weeks ago and now it's 15 pounds and it's increasing crazily. Like, I, I think Two years ago it was 13 British pounds or even less. This banana shampoo by Body Shop, I purchased it about three times. I think this is the third bottle I finished and the Rockstar one is about the seventh bottle I finished and I... This is practically almost the only shampoo I use on a daily basis. Um, and when I feel like I want to change a little bit sometimes, I use this banana shampoo but mainly this shampoo is consumed my, by my husband. And since I have quite sensitive scalp, if my scalp is not happy with a particular product, my scalp starts becoming really really greasy and I feel like I'm, I have to wash at least twice a day. I don't get much like itchiness or dandruff but like when my scalp reacts, it decided to produce loads of oils for some reason. But this one keeps it so healthy. I think the price-wise, this is very extortionate for the shampoo, but I cannot live without this. So whenever the L'Occitane does an offer, I book purchase this probably about twice a year. I buy about like four or five in one go. So I absolutely love this product. Also my mother swear by these products as well. And this is also from L'Occitane as well. And this is the shower gel from the Rhodes series. And the packaging looks like this. And this product has been around for quite a long time now. So I guess lots of people have seen it before, like have heard it before. I'm not a particularly big fan of L'Occitane Raw series. I really really like them. I'm happy to be given. But use this up. It's a very pleasant product. Again, it's about like 14 to 15 British pounds. I thoroughly enjoyed using this product for L'Occitane but I am not going to purchase this because I'm in love with so many other things from the different brands for the shower gel wise. And lastly, this is something from the Body Shop. It's 750 ml. It's the Moringa shower gel. I bought it two years ago and it's been sitting in the shower for over a year and finally, finally I finished using it. I'm not a big fan of the Moringa shower gel smell. When I smelled this in the shop two years ago, I thought it was quite nice and I thought I would give it a try because it was on some sort of offer and it was a mistake. I really liked so many other things in the past year or two and I never got around to it although it was right in front of me in the shower all the time. So I'm happy I finished using it but I am not going to repurchase it again. And I got given this from my friend. It was a part of the gift set from Ren. And this is a body cream and this is a shower gel and it's from the Rose Scented series. I really like Ren's products in general because they don't contain any harmful chemicals nor any additive scents and things like that. I'm really easily suckered into really delicious scents when it comes to shower gels especially. Like are the things that doesn't have a contact with my skin for long. I don't mind any additive scents if it smells absolutely delicious, especially like philosophy ones, like some of them is just so divine that I cannot live without. When it comes to body cream, I'm really really picky, like I don't want any chemicals nor any sort of harmful thing or additive scents because it basically get absorbed by your skin. So 
I really like the ingredients of this, but my all-time favorite body cream never changes, which is the Melvita Abiscoma body cream. They smell absolutely gorgeous, and it's organic, and it just leaves my skin so amazing. And lastly, this is something that you might think is really boring, but this is something that I cannot live without. And this is basically the only deodorant I use for past five years, and I never looked back ever because this is just purely amazing which is from the company called 84 it's basically in the number 8 and number 4 and it's a Japanese drugstore company and it's a roll on type of deodorant and it's very easy to use it has a sm small hint of like fresh floral type of scent it got like a really small amount of rosy scent but like it really doesn't disturb your perfumes or anything else that you're wearing one quick slapping on in the morning like not layering even is keep you going for the rest of the day until you take a shower although i live in the uk now and there are so many products available i always bring back crazy amount of this 84 deodorant from japan every time i go back to japan so these are my very first round of empties and i really hope you enjoyed and probably the next one will be the skincare empties i will put more pictures and full reviews of the products and things like that on my blog so go and have a look at my blog and i will speak to you soon bye